psychology and counseling, stuff like that, their approach to early childhood development and rearing was just, I would say, in retrospect, just amazing and a blessing. Um, they, you know, went as far as instituting something that was called the Jackson Academy. If your kid wants to come to kindergarten, they have to know like their ABCs, one, two, three, right? And so instead of just singing the ABC song and practicing one plus one, our parents like went super formal with it. Hey, we're gonna create a little Jackson Academy for our little tots. And we're gonna teach them, you know, their ABCs, one, two, threes. But it didn't stop there. It transformed into, hey, let's, you have a little designated time after school to go over your homework. You know, what did your teacher say to you in class today? X, Y, Z, once you got to middle school, you know, inspecting our book bags. Hey, you got everything, you got your textbooks. Hey, you have a test coming up. Like just, and then it kind oh, of really? transitioned and transformed um, over time with our age to become more appropriate for where we're at in life. So by the time we hit college, it's questions about, hey, have you followed up with the guidance counselor for college? You know, and that type of stuff. And so we talk about being able to like hit the ground running, grinding and stuff like that. You know, it was that environment of positive feedback, of positive reinforcement in our household from our parents, uh, really, uh, that started at an early age.